Hello everyone I am Mohan Reddy here today we are diving into a secret excel trick that will completely transform how you use formulas did you ever tried dragging formulas down for every row or copy and pasting them manually when your data expands well what if i tell you there is a super simple way to make your formulas dynamic without any extra effort the answer lies in the hash sign and in this video i will show you how to use it to make your excel formulas more dynamic and powerful let's get started what is the hash sign in excel the hash sign represent a spilled range when you are using dynamic arrays let us try to understand what is a spilled range Let's say I have here product and price I need to calculate discount the discount percentage is 2% usually how we calculate the discount equals to price c5 cell multiplied by e1 cell pressing f4 to freeze the even range and hit enter then copy and paste down so this is how we used to calculate the discount in previous days but those days are gone you can delete the entire formula here and instead of selecting one single cell you can select all of the cells at a time and multiply with the discount percentage and then freeze the range and hit enter this will automatically calculate the discount for all the cells that we have supplied within this range here this is called spilled range the very first cell will have the formula and the rest of the cells will have the formula grayed out so that means this has a spilled range whenever you place a cursor on the spilled range it will highlight with a blue border the entire range at a time suppose if you want to calculate the total discount amount here you can easily calculate sum of the very first cell where you have applied the formula hold the shift key and keep press the down arrow you will observe that when you come to the last cell it automatically detects hash sign and when you go up it doesn't take the hash sign when you come down it takes the hash sign that means excel formula will automatically detects that this is the spill range and need to apply the hash sign when you close the bracket it will calculate the sum of the discount instead of referring the whole range you can use this hash key to refer the entire the spilled range into the formula and there are couple of examples lined up here for the demonstration purpose let's get into the real world example here let's say i have here country product unit price and units sold i need to calculate the sales here so how do we calculate equals to unit price multiplied by units sold this is how we used to calculate earlier but here i am going to refer the entire unit price column multiplied by entire units sold column this will calculate the sales at each row level and updates all the rows till the end of the range see the very first cell will have the formula in a black color and the rest of the cells formula will be grayed out and whenever you place the cursor within the spill range it highlights the range within the blue border this is how you can use dynamic arrays in excel instead of applying the formulas cell by cell you can refer multiple cells as a range and apply the formulas i would like to calculate the commission as 10% for each row equals to select the sales since sales is a spilled range i can use the hash key so that it refers the entire range multiplied by commission 10% going to freeze the cell g1 and hit enter and this calculates the commission like this when you place a cursor on the commission 
it highlights with the blue border i am always working hard to bring you the latest features and updates your support means a lot for me a simple like comment and subscribing to our channel really motivates me to keep creating awesome content for you so request you to please like comment and subscribe to our channel let's continue now we will see how to update the drop down dynamically so i have the product and i would like to know what are the unique products from the products column and feed that unique products into a drop down list so how we can do i'm going to use unique function here and select the products close bracket hit enter this will identify all the unique products from the products column and the same i can refer into my drop down list i'm going to data data validation under allo drop down taking list and in the source i'm going to select the very first cell of the unique function result and then press hash key so this refers all the products and click okay now you can click the drop down all the four products are shown here let's say i'm going to change the keyboard here to microphone it automatically detects the microphone and updates the drop down here see how cool is that similarly you can make use of dynamic arrays like this i'm going to paste the headers here i would like to filter the entire data based on my product selection equals to filter select the range the product is equal to my product selection close bracket hit so for microphone there is only one record it is showing only one record let me change this to mouse so for mouse there are three records so it has shown three records so let's take lcd panel so for lcd panel there are five records the five records have shown here now let's see how we can calculate all these insights let's say sum of the sales average of sales min of sales max of sales and count the of rows equals to sum let's select the very first cell and press hash key it selects entire spilled range and close bracket now if you see the sum of sales it is 8840 but when you select the sales it is 7600 only it is not matching why because we have used hash key that selected the entire range in this entire range there are several numeric columns one unit price unit sold sales and commission so we need to restrict only to select sales column in this we can use index we need zero rows and the column is the position of the column country is one product is true unit price is 3 unit sold is 4 and sales is fifth column so five close bracket hit end it is exactly calculated the sales similarly we can also calculate for average min max and count a quickly i will copy this formula and paste for other cells and change the function average here instead of taking the count a from the sales column i'm going to take from the products column so 5 so this is how you can use the dynamic arrays in excel so if the new data is added the formula updates automatically no need to adjust the range manually this works with sum count min max and even conditional formulas now here is a quick heads up this feature is available in Excel 365 and Excel 2019 if you are using an older version the hash sign won't work because it doesn't support spilled arrays so you need to wait 
or you need to upgrade your excel and that's how you make your excel formulas dynamic with add sign pretty cool right now i want to hear from you drop a comment below and let me know if you have tried using the add sign in your excel formulas also don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful subscribe for more excel tips and tricks hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video